Hey, Danielle. Hi, Jesse. How are you? I'm just getting situated here. Yeah, I'm just um, paying bills. Hey, Kathy. Hi. God, I was having a hard time looking for the link, but then I had it on my Google calendar. So I'm like, anyway, hi. Yeah, no, I had to, I had to navigate the um, wonderful Northampton.gov website in order to find it. Oh, well, I somehow, you know, I never know, you know, when people send you Zoom meetings, some of them I can I can add to my Google Calendar, and the ones that that have the little the attachment with ICS on it, which I, do I understand what it means? No, you know I I just I don't know what I'm doing. I need a tutorial and that stuff. But anyway, so it's good to be here. I'm just gonna get out the agenda somewhere. And then, of course, Brian sends us the minutes from before, and it was a Zoom link, so I kept clicking on it. I'm like, no, this is for something else. Yeah, that's what I kept on clicking, too. And I, I know, like, I'm like, what's this meeting? You know, kept grandma, on requesting I a password, and I was like, I don't think I need a password. And then I was like, oh, this is after I read things a little bit better. Oh, good, good. Now, let me try and keep look for the agenda so geez okay let's find out let me see okay i know and i've i gotta clean my folders out the owl hmm there's brian where's this Mm. Hey, Kathy. Okay, here. Hi, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. I mean, I was just whining about trying to get on and blah, blah, blah. And the, the good thing is I, well, the, the lucky thing, I thought I had conflicting meetings and I found out that I did have conflicting meetings, but it wasn't yours. It was another one. <laughs> anyway, it's good to be on with all of you. Great. Mm. Okay. Who else? I'm gonna just okay. And so I'm just checking to see who's here. Okay, Brian. Let's four of us. So I know Talani, I saw an email. She's gonna be late. I'm not sure about and Ellen's away. So I mean she's in New York. And Brian's having connection issues. I think I got, I got it solved now. Okay. Um, yeah, my whole entire house is a mess, so I'm like in a back room, so I have poor internet. All right. So when do you actually move? Well, we, we already started packing, but we can move. We can start moving in on Friday. Wow. <clears throat> it's exciting. I haven't moved in like 11 years. Oh, so. my God. All those little notes, I've been going through those, like that you stuff in places. 
and all my little notebooks over for 20 years or whatever that I've been oh. in like I've been like so it's a slow process of for me um mm. Mm. uh and just seeing like old poetry oh. stuff in places that's, and stuff it's interesting that's a hard one it, it can be really um I don't know it's it's um can be poignant I think yeah Things like that it's definitely a big phase yeah big phase shift for sure did you talk to Jim Armente because I told him you were moving to West Hampton because he lives there so I haven't I haven't seen him yet. I'm sure I'm going to see him on Tuesday though next week next oh, Tuesday yeah, yeah. so I'll chat exactly. with him yeah I'm torn I saw that um um Kate Kelly's looking for vaccinators I maybe I can take a break from hospitality and give a few jabs <laughs> <laughs> I'll go backstage in the museum. Yeah, after last time, we'll see how good that is. <laughs> um, I think that would be fine if you whatever you want to do. I think we do okay. have a lot well, of support. I got enough volunteers, so that's that's our yeah. problem. We'll see how it works out. Good, but you'll be on site. Um, yeah, yeah. I know Lori isn't coming. I she left me a voicemail okay. very long. I haven't listened to it yet because I've been a little bit preoccupied mm -hmm. with stuff. Mm -hmm. But I don't think she's going to be here. And then um, Ellen looked like she was a 50-50. Oh, yeah. She said something about, so 50-50, okay. Michael is moving. So he resigned from the board. He's moving to Connecticut. Oh, seriously? He, oh, my God. He, uh, he put in his two weeks at Academy Lake oh, last wow. week. Wow. Wow, that's a big deal. It's good. It's, um, good for him. Oh. He got a really good job. He's going to be in... He's doing teleprompting, uh, and he's gonna he's on track to be part of the union. So he's doing he's teleprompting all the New York Yankees games. Oh my gosh! Well, that's a big. I mean, it's be be more pay better probably than the arts. I hate to say, but he was oh he's getting paid really well. I think it's like, you know very very much more than the academy could do. But he's been teleprompting for a long time, like as a contractor. Um, okay even during this time at the Academy. Mm -hmm. wow. There was a lot of issues with contracts with mm -hmm. him over there and et cetera, so. Yeah, okay, well, it's gonna it's a win-win then for everybody. Not for us, because oh. he yeah. was an excellent uh, technical director and oh, yeah. uh, very easy to work with. And oh, he so, was good, because I know I, you know, yeah. I guess he's gonna still work with Pioneer Valley Ballet for their oh. nutcracker. So they're gonna still have him as like an independent contractor, but he can't do the full-time thing at the academy. Um, mm -hmm. so. Okay, okay. All right. Wow. Who else? Uh, oh. Dana, I didn't hear from Dana. I don't know if anybody else did. No, let's see. Let's just see who's here. Okay, so, and I, we didn't hear it from Kent. Uh, so Lori's absent and then- Kent's here. He just he, okay. Kent. I didn't see him uh, yet. Okay, and Freeman. is Ashlyn still? I know we asked about this, Daniel. Do you know is Ashlyn still a member of the council? So, I I saw a Facebook post that Ashlyn was planning to move. I don't know if she she I, she hasn't. I haven't heard from her. She hasn't resigned. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that she's moved yet, but I saw a general post that she was planning a move so yeah, yeah. it could just be a hectic time, time. Gotcha. um and not, not everybody always thinks about letting us know that they're resigning so <laughs> okay and freeman freeman's here oh okay i just i i'm sorry i'm, I'm copying okay so great yeah Excellent. freeman good, is good. here too. a little late but here. That's all right. Okay, so Jesse yeah. can't. Aim we know Tulani and... is definitely coming. Yeah, she's gonna be late. She said. Okay. Where is the meeting? So I'll just wait. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe we can wait to approve the minutes until we have a few more people. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Dana. Oh, Dana's here. Great.
Kathy, did you see that Ellen was here? Oh, Ellen, no, I didn't. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm, I'm typing away like a fee, like a fool here. So, okay. Thank you. Hi. Great. Thanks. Okay. Sorry, this. Great. Great. So, um, I'll make a motion to open our meeting. Okay. Oh, 707, the same time we did last time. <laughs> nice. Okay. Second. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. All in favor? Mm. I think we're open. Um, just in the interest of having input from Tulani, um, oh, I'll announce that we're, the meeting is held via Zoom and it's being recorded. Mm -hmm. um, can we hold on reviewing and approving the minutes until Tulani mm -hmm. joins? Mm -hmm. Okay. So shall we dive right in? Mm -hmm. How's everybody doing? Okay. Yeah. Hi. I have my cataracts done, so I'm all done. <laughs> <Not that you're... laughs> oh. <laughs> oh God. Oh, she's like. <laughs> I'm feeling uh, charged and uh, um active because that's how it gets mm -hmm. for me in the summer just a lot happening happens in august in my world in november and in, in august in mm -hmm. this area for me so I, I feel that from others as well so yeah that's how i feel <laughs> how about you mm -hmm. Are we checking in? Sorry, I missed that. Yeah, just a little check in before we, I, I was about to just dive right into the agenda and I was like, well, maybe we don't have to go right to business. Maybe we should see how the people are feeling. How are people, how are people showing up tonight? Um, I'm at my cousin's house in Westchester. Ooh. They had a uh, kind of helping them out a little bit and uh, that my cousin broke a wrist, my, my other, my other, her husband um, had Lyme disease <laughs> and the dog was ill. <laughs> it was just like four people, four things in the house. Um, they needed a little, you know, cooking, cleaning, that kind of stuff. So we're here for another day. It's nice to be here. It's a really pretty quilt behind you, Alan. It's, um, it's a painting from one of my uncle's paintings. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. He's, uh, the whole room is filled with his stuff from all different years of his work. Actually, the whole house is filled. My, my uh, cousin Adam's dad, my uncle by marriage. Mm. I'm feeling okay. I'm sorry I'm eating a uh, carrot. I feel like I'm always like sneaking dinner during our meetings. So don't be alarmed. I'll mute during the crunching. <laughs> <laughs> um, the director of the museum where I work for my day job uh, announced a resignation today and is taking a really huge position at another institution in New York. So um, I think oh. it's Who a, is that? his name is David Little. He was the director and chief oh. curator of the Mead. Okay. Um, and he's going to the International Center of Photography, oh, yeah. which um, yeah, is, is a great move for him. And um, it also means that uh, a, an already kind of short staffed staff, short staffed team is moving into a particularly chaotic fall with a lot of unknowns. So um, I'm technically, I don't know if I've, I think I mentioned to most of you that I'm on medical leave for work partially. So I'm, my hours are a little bit reduced uh, to take care of some health stuff. And it's just been a lot of, uh, planning and uh contingency planning and and crisis mode uh today 
to figure out what the fall is going to look like. So when does he um, go? Uh, his last day is September 3rd. And uh, I, well, I think it's a very good thing. Um, it just, it, it's going to take a while for us to get through the messiness of the departure, I think, um, before we can re reach any kind of homeostasis again. So if I'm looking dazed and confused, wandering around. <laughs> that was apt, right? <laughs> right. Dazed and confused. <laughs> well, she's frozen for a long time. We lost you, Danielle. This feels like a powerful metaphor. Am I yeah. back? <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry, my internet seems to be unstable, but that's where, that's my brain, that news came out today. So I'm a little bit uh, fried from going through that. Anybody else have any share outs? Let's touch base. Well, let us know how you're doing. I'm on the, I'm, I'm on the opposite end of, things from Brian, um, although it feels a little bit busy, I've just been in the last few weeks been to the Cape because some friends rented a house and invited us down to um, Plum Island because some other friends rented a house and invited us up and to our son's house in Burlington, Vermont. And we've brought our kayak to two of those places. So we've been in new places kayaking. And that's always a great, relaxing, you know, just, just beautiful places, wonderful birds and scenery. And um, so, yeah, today we went to uh, the Littleville Lake in Huntington which I've never been to before and really peaceful, beautiful place. So I'm feeling very relaxed in many respects. Mm. Um, at the same time, having lots of things on my mind, so. Kent or Jesse, do you want to share how either of you want to share anything? No pressure. Um, feeling incredibly nervous about the state of things with the Delta variant and sidewalk sales last weekend and everything else that's going on. Um, so I don't know. I don't really have much positive to say. Yeah, I'm in a um, good friend of mine's son was pulled over and roughed up in Ohio. I'm headed to Ohio the 19th through the 26th, see my sister who's in a wheelchair and not doing real well. So I've been dealing with that, figuring that out. Also, another really good friend of mine who had just turned 80 is dying of bone cancer, where we just mm. found out. And, you know, health insurance is shitty. You see now, it's just, it's, uh, so I'm not in a really good space. Oh, okay. And, uh, you know, just general, just, yeah, I'm, mm. uh, I'm, I'm here, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll talk about some of the other stuff, but I just, this is yeah. not a, I'm, sorry. I'm not chirpy. Mm. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, okay. You're going through yeah. that. Yeah, that's all very tough stuff. Mm. All right. Well, Eamon, do you want to share anything out? Uh, no, it's everything's just kind of the, the same, just uh, hanging out and doing a little bit of work, but also going outside and hitting the trail as much as I can when the weather's good. Great. Well, I think we're at mixed capacity. Mm -hmm. Some of us are at our prime. 
some of us are suboptimal with what we're going through. So let's just keep that in our minds as we move through as, and think about capacity um, for the rest of today and in the, in the next couple of weeks when we have subcommittee meetings and all of that. Um, on our agenda, it looks like uh, the biennial is at the top of the list. And I know, Ellen, you said you were going to have to hop off or you might hop off. So why don't we start with the biennial for updates? Yeah, we're, I, I think there's a few things. Um, Kathy said, oh, okay, let me start from the beginning. A um, few things that we're going to need to know. Um, we're going to know, from, we need to know from the library whether we're going to be able to have a full blown opening, which as of today, I think is doubtful. Mm. I don't even know if we as the Arts Council would want to present a full opening, you know, which would mean wine, beer, food, lots and lots of people, mm -hmm. no masks. I, I don't know that the library would allow that. And mm -hmm. I don't know that, um, you know, that uh, oh, we cannot have food and drink. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that okay. simplifies yeah. the opening, certainly. Okay. All right. So the big thing we're going to need, and I think Kathy can speak to it, we have to decide on the hours when people can drop off art and pick up their mm -hmm. art. We'll also have to be ever changing state and local guidelines for capacity. Yeah. Right. Um, Kathy, you want to talk about what yeah, you want to find out? Yeah, I think out? we're going to have to find out um, exactly, you know, the days that we have, you know, what times that the, um, that the artists can drop their art off. And what I would need from you all is I'll make up a, some kind of a sign up sheet, but somebody has to be there to accept the art. And then if anybody wants, to, and then also when people pick up the art to be there to, um, to be able to give people their art. And we'll work with you on, on, on um, guidelines, if you're there, what you, you, you're supposed to do, et cetera. So that, that's forthcoming and I'll send out um, uh, either a Google Doc or, or somehow to, to, to ask you to, to help us out in that way. And then I guess, depending on what's going on now, okay, um, okay, update from reopening, okay. We can't have by October things, okay. The, the trustees will, from Brian to everybody, the trustees will are meeting on the 15th and review it, so. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, I'll check in with Faith or with Molly, I think, um, you know, in terms of she's the other person at the library who's our connection about the hours and how to how to work these things out and what our responsibilities will be. And then I guess, you know, how we're going to be doing the the evening of or if, they, if anything is happening then. So. Mm. And we also have now. Mm -hmm. um, um, Rose is working as, as a coordinator on, on the project. So we're giving her some money. Rose, who used to be an intern with the Arts Council a few years ago, and she's great. So she's working with you know the, the jurors in terms of during the art, et cetera. And then I'll have to work with um, we'll have to work with Karen to kind of figure out what's going to happen for a reading. It, it has, you know, getting people into the space, as you know, that Coolidge Room. I don't even know if that's going to be able to be done. So it, unfortunately, just from reading, it, it's all, it's, everything's up in the air. Yeah. Um, as of right now, the, uh, the poetry reading is tentatively set for Saturday the 9th mm -hmm. at 2 o'clock, I think, mm -hmm. um, at the library. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, this is why we want to also have a virtual mm -hmm. gallery and, um, you know, poetry. Yeah. So everything can be, you know, viewed online. Yeah, and we can task Rose with that. We'll to, and I see that Rose is, it's time limited, her time with us. So maybe we should figure that out with her. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, what else? Let's think. Um, I think that's it. We just really have to decide on the hours um, so we can let Faith know to get that on the library schedule. That won't be hard. And then we'll so, also we need, we need help the day that we hang, which will be, um, I think, Friday or whatever the 
I think will be the first. The drop off for art will be the 29th and 30th of September. We'll hang the art on the first and the formal opening will be on the second. That's the and, 1st of October, right? You're talking October? Yes, and the, yeah. um, we, got, we just heard from Rose that today that they accepted 50 pieces from 312, I think, submissions. Um, and so, I, you know, I feel like the committee that the stuff we need to decide doesn't actually need a, a meeting particularly. I, I feel like we could easily go back and forth in a few emails and, and figure it all out. Is that where, I mean, yeah. Lori's on the group yeah. um, as part of it also. Yeah, exactly. I think so. I think basically it's just a accepting and then the show come down on the, the end of the month. And so figuring that out. Yeah. I did want to offer. So at the Mead, we hosted something called the Black Art Matters Festival, which I'm not sure if folks have have come to in the past. But this year we did it during COVID and did the entire festival virtually. Mm -hmm. So I can share that link with you all if you want to see a model for how the festival, like what would have been a big party, a big reception took place over Zoom mm -hmm. in the event that we either um, tighten up restrictions again or this committee decides mm -hmm. that we didn't want to do an in-person reception. Mm -hmm. Like if it, if it doesn't feel like the right decision in October, since we don't know what things are going to look like. Um, I can share like the run of show for how that happened and some of the, the production tips for how we did that. Um, basically it entailed having each artist share their screen with or on a Zoom meeting um, to show a work of art. And we asked them to speak about it for about three minutes. So if we have, you know, 50 artists, it might be not that, it might not be that everyone shows up but maybe everyone speaks for one or one to two minutes and there's poetry readings, maybe we could have some remarks from the judges. I, I just wanted to point out that it could be a really easy, not easy, but seamless mm -hmm. transition to okay. Zoom if we didn't want to postpone or didn't want to cancel, mm -hmm. um, but wanted to do a program oh, um, online or needed to do a program online. So I can share that information with this committee or if you have that questions and wanna chat, I'm happy to chat with you about that. Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, I appreciate that. Share that. And am I, am I, and I write, Kathy, that you said you were going to create a document to, yeah, for, for help to see what kind of help you need. And yeah, yeah, for volunteers okay. and stuff. Yeah. And even say, well, the day of, too. I mean, of course, it depends on what's going on, too. So, but definitely to accept the art, you know, those days, the art drop off of those two days. So we'll... Oh, okay. Thank you, Daniel. And you also talked about helping to hang the show, right? And take it down? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, we'll need just some, you know, some people to come to the gallery Mm -hmm. help us to get stuff up and uh you know just does mm -hmm. kind of design it you know where we're going to put everything yeah it's yeah. kind of it's kind of fun yeah and then there's wow. the other things associated with um getting the show up is the labeling we need to have a little um chat book in the in the gallery you know like a 10 copies or something so people can walk you know sit down and mm. you know read the, read the poetry um also to have a list of all the the artists the names of their pieces yeah. um, right. if they're for sale you know all the information that has to go with it yeah i think that you just said this and i missed it but the time frame during the day that you'll need help what is that is it like evenings would or no, does it need no, no during the day it's daytime yeah, mm -hmm. okay. we'll find out from uh, yeah ahead. the library opens at nine mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um you know i'm sure some of us will usually what we do is we get there at nine and start mm -hmm. pulling stuff out of the um room where the stuff has been stored and just set it out around the gallery and and then start moving pieces around and you know if we have any ideas about how we want to set 
sometimes the size of the pieces really determine where they go. Yeah. Um, and then we work around that, you know. Kind of, okay. okay. So that's the day be, of what you're talking about is, I mean, the day of the hanging, but the day of accepting guard, I just have to find out what hours that the library thinks we, we can do that and where we'll I, do it. Okay. Well, I just I wish them. Hmm? I um, definitely want to help, but I'll take a look at the doc when you send it and see if I can coordinate with work because oh, okay. are, are tricky. Right. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I sent the email out, um, mm -hmm. Kathy and yep, Ken, I... just again with the hour so we can kind of Great. decide if they look good okay. or not. Okay, do that. I just haven't looked it, so thank you, Ellen. Ellen's so good. <laughs> thank you. Anyway, that's. I think that's it for the biennial. Yeah. Great. And yeah, the poetry has been done. And today the uh, the visual art was done. So mm -hmm. that's excellent mm -hmm. to have that done. Mm -hmm. Great. Have the artists and the writers been told yet? No. No, it's tough. No, they just did the, um, the jurying today. Mm -hmm. And Rose is asking what she has to do next. Mm -hmm. So. I think that'll be part of it. Great. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Ellen. She's Yeah, thank you, everybody. Uh, you also, I think we really are fortunate. You have done all that part of it before. I mean, so you you, you have a, a good sense about what's really responding. And you've done a lot of notes on it. No, Esther has done lots of notes on it. Well, but... <laughs> But you've, done, you've, had, you've had practical experience. Right, so. I have had practical experience. Thank you. That is true. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. Right. Danielle, um, if you don't mind, uh, this is, so here's the link to the, you sent this links here in the mm -hmm. chat, but how do I like access that tomorrow when I can? You know, what I'll do is I'll send it, you know, I, I've been cutting and pasting this uh, on, you know, the, the information from the chat. I'll send it to you, Ellen. Okay. Okay. That'd be great. I'll do Thank that you. right. I've been cutting and pasting things from the chat into a, a Word doc. So, okay. I'll get it ready. Yeah. And if you, if it gets lost, I can email it again as well. Okay. Thank okay. you. Should I send anybody else want those links? I mean, Freeman, I mean, or, or um, Kent, no? Okay. <laughs> I've got them. Thanks. Okay. Great. Great. So on to cinema. Um, Jesse <clears throat> and Brian, any cinema updates? I think that everything is still postponed due to uh, COVID restrictions. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, any updates? Let's see. I haven't heard anything from Al from North Tampa Nobody Media or uh, Dylan. So as things are going now, I'm looking at you know Kids Best Fest. So we should think about um, what we want to program in February for mm. so that week. Jesse and Keith and I can have a, a side Zoom, or we can meet distance in the park or something. And we can have a talk about that and I can show you the outlets where we purchase films for or if you have any filmmakers you have in mind and how you think about one of programming that. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll think about that now and get, get ahead of ourselves. I'd like to have four Sundays um, programmed by the beginning of December so wow. we can um, have everything settled. So when we switch from first night to four Sundays, it won't be a rush to make programming decisions and it'll be more of a rush to make marketing and and uh, development decisions, which is something I need to focus on when we switch gears and from first mm -hmm. night to four Sundays. Right. So let's uh, let's make a plan to, to, to get together on that one, Jesse. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Um, next we have equity. I'm gonna maybe suggest that we wait. I know Tulani said she was on her way. So I'll just wait for her for that one. If that's all right with folks. Um, Freeman, do you wanna share where we're at with the grant round? Uh, sure. Um, I think the most important thing to know is that the MCC has, has a uh, put out a website and I don't know, Kent, were you at that? I saw that you were signed up, gonna sign up and I signed up. So, so Kent and I 
listened in on um, the presentation of how to use the the their website and how to register it and the dates and all of that. And there's a recording of that uh, if people want to have it. But I think what I'll do since that's it's a little bit slow moving and cumbersome and not necessarily all of it's necessary, I think. Um, maybe I can um, draft some notes that I'll send around to people if they want to uh, sign on in advance. Um, there will be a printed um, panel of, of grant applicants that'll become available at some point and people may want to access that, but you can also access online. And so you, they, there's an opportunity for us to sign in individually and there's a process for that. And um, I think that's the main, the main thing coming up right away. There are a number of other things that I'd love to discuss, but I think I, I, it might be better to hold off and not necessarily cover at this meeting. Um, I think the most important thing to know is that I think the, the website is now live for us to log in. So I'll try to get those directions for everybody. Um, but it's not, it's not essential that you do it now. There's not, not that much that you, you can do. It's just uh, getting ready for when the grants are available. Um, but the other thing is that our priorities need to be set by the 31st. Um, so, you know, I think for all intents and purposes, we'll, we'll continue going with the priorities that, that we have. Um, and at some point, I'd love to have a conversation with everybody, um, you know, uh, perhaps after the grant committee and the equity committee meet and, and have that discussion as has been discussed, um, just to kind of look at the, our process, our grant process and, and the priorities and how do we um, uh, actualize the philosophy of equity and inclusion that's in our statement and whether that's something that we want to embed in the, the grants more specifically, the grant, you know, pri our priorities more specifically. But I think, you know, that would be a, a series of conversations and I, I don't think we're ready for, for that right now. A anything else, Ken, that you can think from the, oh, Kathy, you wanna ask something first? Go ahead, yeah, Kathy. I'm just a question about the, the dates in terms like that for, for, you know, the applications, do you have those? Um, I don't have it right with me, but I'll include okay. it in that in okay. that uh, communication with everybody. Okay. And it's in um, Mina Mina Kim, Kim, Kim. Sent, sent around. Oh, okay. go ahead, Ken. No, go ahead. I, I'm just you said Mina. I was just finishing Mina Kim's email that she sent out. Yeah, yeah, she sent out okay. an email that has the dates and everything, okay. and I can forward that too. Okay, to, I can. Look, I could probably uh, find it. Yeah, but I, I'm I'm happy to put that together and try to make it as succinct as mm -hmm. I possibly can. Yeah, I I um that's a good summation, Freeman. I don't have any change for that. The only thing I will say is I have been, um, but this is something we're going to have to talk about because um I know that um. MCC as well as NIFA is really beginning to hone in on how people fulfill the language of what they're trying to uplift. And Mean and I have talked about that, the folks that are now running the spatial. And so it behooves us to take a really serious look. But I, I, the summation of what you just covered is excellent. So I have nothing to add. And I think our next equity meeting is one that Freeman and I, as, as Grants Hat people, are going to be joining to share that most recent draft of priorities. So the one that gets submitted on the 31st will have a little bit of input. We're not doing a complete overhaul because we're waiting for uh, some process change. Um, but, but that meeting is happening a week from today, I believe. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I, I'm What's sorry, that date? Um, the 17th. Okay. I'll our see. next equity committee meeting. I think we might need to reevaluate that because the 17th yeah. is performance. Ooh. And we will most likely, I know I'll be there. 
Right, 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 right. right. But also if others on the committee are not going to be there. And yeah, I, I, you know, if possible, I, if even part of us is not there as a small group that's been really trying to solidify them, we've been looking at some documents that we want to share with everybody that would be important maybe to have a read for folks to have a read through, but we're talking amongst ourselves right now. And I think that's important. Um, and yet I understand the need to go ahead at the same time. So we're not trying to hold things up. We just, um, how do I put this gently? I'm trying to be kind tonight. Um, we don't want to do a, a, a half arsed job since this is being recording. I guess I can say arse, right? <laughs> and I don't want to fake DEI stuff. I, I, this for me, I don't want to just dot I's and cross T's. We're either going to do this because we do this because we really care and we really want to do what our mission statement says we are doing or change the mission statement and just say, we're only catering to this, this, and this. Either way, it's cool with me, but no half stepping. And so for me, I'm, I don't mean to go off and I'm trying to keep myself. And I told you I come in here a little jazz, but this kind of stuff, like, well, we're going to look at it. It's just, I'll be quiet. I'm like, let's just go on for a minute. All right, please. Okay. Thank you both. Um, board membership. So uh, Brian already mentioned that Michael has resigned, Rachel has resigned. Um, do, Brian, do you know how many vacancies we actually have? The last I checked, it was seven, but I know we've had some additional coming and going. Uh, right now we have uh, nine council members, so that means we have six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So then we have six vacancies. Okay. Um, so I'm going to share the... An, That's including oh, Ashlyn, and uh, if Ashlyn is moving outside of Northampton, Florence, or Leeds, she'll, she'll have to resign from the board. Right, so for now we have six. Um, in the chat, I'm sharing a Google Doc, which was the original um, like recruitment and outreach email that we had put together. This, this came together like a year or a year and a half ago. Um, so if anyone wants to share that out with folks, I would encourage you to do so. If you want to make edits or changes to this email and, and personalize it however you want, but I just wanted to share it again because um, we do have vacancies and it's clear that we need volunteers and we need people to do the work. So um, if anyone has ideas for other ways we can do outreach and do recruitment, maybe we can have a little side meeting to discuss that. Um, but we're down six possibly soon to be seven. So could use some more support, I think. Yeah. Um, great, so that's all I have for a board membership update. <laughs> um, it looks like next is online communications. So Eamon and Brian. Oh no, I'm sorry, I skipped uh, public art, which was Jesse and Brian. Um, I don't think, well, I guess there's that one, um, I don't know if this is the place to bring it up, Brian, or if this is on the agenda elsewhere, but the um, A to Z wanting to do the mural. Mm -hmm. Give me one second and I'll just share that. I sent it to everybody. That was the one you sent out. Yeah. Uh huh. So I at it. it's following pr protocol and it's a private mural. Um, so, you know, basically it's like on a private building, but they're following protocol to make sure, you know, that we're saying it's art 
and that it's not terrible and it doesn't have anything that would like you know would offend the neighbors or in some such as that so i just shared the spaceship dinosaur thing and you know uh so nothing we're paying for it's uh oh hold on a second does our name go on it no it's no there's no name there's no advertisement it's just the it's just the um that design and I just thought of something, uh, we should give it, you know, I would, you know, I'd leave it up to the council to say whether they deem that public art and whether, you know, A to Z can, you know, go, go forward with their process. Um, so uh, my reaction when I saw it was um, for a store that's uh, I think incredibly inspiring for so many little kids. It was particularly uninspiring and and quite commercial um, rather than artistic. So, um, you know, sorry for expressing that judgment, but it's my impression of it. Brian, can you screen share the image? I haven't seen it. I agree with you, Freeman. We we stand in the same place on this one. I love that store. I mean, it's one of my favorite stores. And yet, when I saw this, I was like, "Wow, who, what?" Uh, yeah. But as I think Brian said in that initial email, we're not curators, you know. So I don't know what it, is is it art? You know, what's art, right? I mean, that's a loaded question. Then, right? It was. Was it created by kids, I wonder? Do you know that, anybody? Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask too. Um, who is the designer? Of, who is yeah. the person who designed it for the group? Because if this was done by five or six kids that design it, it's cool. If it's done by adults for kids, it's creepy. might be you know if they get will they have kids involved with the painting or anything like they that? usually do a lot of okay. you know outreach to children i don't know the, that uh particular um i don't know if that it was uh, it was like a group design project uh or it was this local artist um so I, I'll, uh, I actually, I just noticed something because of the wall, it's, it's actually, it's open brick and it's not already painted on. I actually, this, this has to go through the central business district architectural subcommittee. So I have to let them know that. Um, so I'm going to be sending that email to Andre and Deb, the owners of AZ right now. Um, so I think for now, this is going to be put on pause. And, uh, and I just, we're looking at the, just looking at the picture again, I just noticed that that's the wall. So I think we can just uh, table this discussion until they hear back from the, the uh, mm -hmm. next subcommittee. I'm sorry, I missed that in the beginning. So um, we can move on and just table this request and I'll reach out where to Andre. That, and where yeah. does that wall face? Like, I can't place it right away. Looks like it's facing the, the bike path, yeah? Like right behind A to Z? To yeah, the yeah. Parking. yeah I, th I think it's the back wall of A to Z. Mm -hmm. The build that building. Okay. Um, Brian, I, I have mean, kind of- a, it, I was just gonna say, to me, it looks like something, I, I thought it right away, it looked like something out of like a third or fourth grader like workbook kind of thing. So like, it seemed very like on brand for something that like, a kid business would put outside their business. Um, so, I mean, I don't have the reaction that like Freeman or Kent had to it. I mean, it seems very like apropos to what I would put out if my business was all about like kid stuff. Um, but I mean, it looked, you know, so it looked good from that point of view, I thought. I think it's the My Little Pony thing right in the middle. I think yep. that's, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it hits all the notes. There's sharks, dinosaurs, outer space, rainbows, and unicorns. I mean, the, it's got everything. I mean, I, Brian, what's our, I know you said in the email, like, we're not curators. We just need to vote 
yes or no on whether or not this is public art public accept public acceptability to to be put on a put on a wall are we i guess what's the historical um are there other places in northampton that have done this without our you know without our curatorial yes. Yes. What, what are those? I mean, we're, we're like everybody because it's not our building. We don't have yeah. curatorial. It's not our building. We have it's the city's property. It's whoever's property it is. They can do whatever they want as long as it's as not the public interest. Like we can, and I don't even know how how well this ordinance holds up. I just have a really good relationship with them, and they're 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 keeping in line and, and trying to keep it happening. Like keep the sure. ordinance alive. So, and, for instance, uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle mural, that's that would fall under basically the same parameters as this. Yep. So um, the owner of the building took, you know, commissioned and want a specific um, piece on his building and he got what he wanted. So it's basically our job to say, yes, this does not look like it's going to um, be harmful to anybody walking by yeah and that's it right like pretty much yeah yeah it's either like because so the history of it is that uh the sculpture that's on the side of the bridge that faces king street under like on bridge road was basically put up by the planning commission without any public input and the, there was a big upright by the Iders community and a lot of city councilors um, because a large contract was given to somebody who was, you know, what had a lot of work and a lot of connections. And Boring. it was indirect. Basically, we went through a public commission process with a lot of time and a lot of energy and a lot of money to put David Teeple's piece on the other side of the bridge. And the people within the community that wanted Sam Ostroff's piece basically just just railroaded everything and just steamrolled with Wayne Fiden and put up the Microsoft Office um, clip art on this side of uh, you know on the Dirty Truth side. I don't know what you want to call it, the Fitzwilly side of the bridge. And then in response, the City Council created the ordinance that I shared with you. Um, so basically, if it's a huge commission that's over, you know, I think it's like $6,000, we have to do a call, right? That's how we're, the genuine, the, the thing of, in this other stuff of like private commissions that have nothing to do with city funds is, you know, I just, people are just respecting the process. And we're just trying to be like, you know, kind of uh, a conduit to, you know, to promote more public art and to make it easier and to, to just to like, you know, to be there to, to, you know, to be cheerleaders. And I don't want to off, like, you know, I don't want to like hinder the process because it's a private person's building. And instead of them painting it like taupe, they're going to put up, you know, something that somebody thinks is art on the wall. And I'm with Eamon. It's like, I think a fourth grader will, or is going to go bananas on that. And, you know, and that's their market. You know, it's not, it's not Freeman. <laughs> I've done lots of shopping there. <laughs> yeah and ditto i mean as i said i, I me too offer, yeah so i mean and I'm just offering an opinion i mean is their mm -hmm. wall i wonder if fourth graders really relate to that anymore to me those images are 20 years old so i'm thinking those are antiquated images anyway i mean most uh, you know but it's for me it's like if they you know it doesn't offend me in, in terms of like, I don't look at it and want to throw things at it. It's just like, yeah. why? What a waste of space, really, to do that. But God bless him. Hi, Tulani. It's tabled Hi, anyway, right? Well, I, I think we should table it until they go through the proper channels because the one thing, if anybody runs into somebody that wants to do public art, even if it's on a private building, if it's on their brick, we have to go through another hurdle, which is the central business. Yeah uh architectural subcommittee so i'm gonna just send that over to andre and deb the owners of a to z 
And then when they're through that hurdle, we'll just bring it back up to our board and mm. we'll, uh, we'll vote on it. Unless you guys want to vote on it now and just give it the yay so they can just get it from the central business committee and move forward. So it's up to you. I think we could just vote on it now. I would feel fine with that. Yeah, I should have just give it now. That was done. I won't vote for it, but I won't vote against it. <laughs> I wonder if we can also, if we, when we email them with our decision, um, if we can also say like in the future, if you want any like creative support or, or curatorial support, let us know. And maybe someone from the board would want to actually be, have a conversation with them um, about it. Well, I mean, and see, to me, it, it, I mean, as we're getting ready to move into, to me, I mean, this is one of the things that's been going on with NIFA and with MCC. What is public art? Art, public, when it's art in public, it's not neutral at that point. So what communities are being represented? What communities are part of it? All those questions become germane. And these are things that a lot of these, or, I mean, you know, are, are trying to figure out. I mean, NIF has given out $10,000 grants to BIPOC folks to uplift these very concerns because they're saying public art that occupies public space is pretty much white space. So you're having some deep conversations. And rather than, a pro I think, you know, if you guys want to go ahead, I got nothing against it. But I think our stamping and going into stuff has deeper ramifications as, a, as an arts council who claims again that we represent everyone, then we really need to look at how we're doing that. And when we promote art, what is this art saying? And who's being, is everybody being included in this art in the best possible way? So that's all. I'll share my screen. So Tulani, you can see what we're talking about as well. This is the proposed um, mural for from A to Z. This is what we're talking about. Was this in an email, Brian, that you sent us? Yeah, it was uh, the other day. OK. And I think the, the question, or I guess, so the, the motion is, I guess, to can we take a vote for, um, well, I am not making the motion because I'm trying to figure out how to word it. But the question is whether or not we um, approve the designation of this as public art. Right, Brian? Right. Well, I guess you know, the question, the question is, question, yeah, about it is that bearing and I, I don't know in terms of for the moment, but, um, you know, bearing in mind, Kent, what you said, I mean, if even if we do, and I'm thinking out loud, but if we do approve is to send back and with with a little caveat and say, you know, in terms of, you know, pub, how, how to kind of word it based upon what you said, Kent, about public yeah. art. Yeah, can I guess I have two two kind of thoughts on this. Can we, instead of saying that we approve this, say that we find no objection to this? And secondly, in doing that, if we do move forward either with an approval or with a no objection, can we also include a letter like Kathy, you're saying, whereabouts we say something like, um, it is the intent of the Northampton Arts Council to be move, you know, moving forward to always be trying to include as many voices as possible, be they um, young children or BIPOC-led artists in the area. And we hope that um, those people were uh, part of this conversation around, you know, part, part of the decision-making around this art before it got to us, something like that. I 
guess, I guess in my perspective on this is um, both because of my own reaction to it and also keeping in mind what Kent has said, um, it seems to me that, you know, this is a commercial piece for, it strikes me for a commercial purpose. And I'm not sure we want to get into assessing uh, every piece of, you know, expression that has to do with promoting a business. Um, uh, and I think that it would be, it would be worth having hearing the conversations that are going on elsewhere and to have our own conversation about how to move forward in the future. But for right now, I feel like the less made of it, the better. Um, I don't want to, yeah, I mean, until we have a clear perspective and position that we've discussed, um, you know, it seems to me that, you know, I, I like what you said, Jesse, about we have no objection, you know, um, but not endorsing it necessarily as art. I agree with all that. I mean, what Brian, you just said is like it, no public art can proceed without a, um, uh, without a permit. So basically is what we're saying, are we going to allow a permit from the Arts Council? That's, that seems to be the relevant question, not whether or not this is, this is art or whether or not we approve this. We're just saying, yes, we're going to approve a permit for them to do, to do this work with no objection from us. But by doing so, we are deeming it public art. By issuing a public art permit, it is considered, it says that we consider this public art. We're not making any comment on the content of it, but we are deeming it public art according to this statute. And I guess I'm, my, my thinking is, and I'm sorry, if I'm, I'd rather hear from other people, but my thinking is for now, let's, let's give it the, you know, the thumbs up. And when we have a more clear position, we can, you know, about how we want to respond, we can, we can, we can do that going forward. That's, that's my thinking. But they, they are not asking for input on the design. Is that right? That's correct. From what I understand, they're just wanting us to approve a permit so this can happen. Mm -hmm. Anyone want to move <laughs> to vote on this? I'm a non-voting member. <laughs> I'm a Mink member. Is this something the Inc. doesn't really vote on, does it? I just wanted to be like very intentional about the language and a couple of folks have used okay. intentional language to describe mm -hmm. what we're yeah. actually yeah. voting yeah. on. Yeah. So that, that we have, hmm, let's see what I say here. I, took a, I was typing away. Let me see if I find where I was typing it. Um. I, no I objection. Move, yeah, I, I move to um, propose that uh, Northampton Arts Council has no objection to A to Z um, moving forward with this mural. Mm. Second. Mm -hmm. Second. All in favor? Aye. Yes, mm -hmm. if I can vote. So it's a yes from Dana, Eamon, me, Danielle, mm -hmm. Jesse. And then we have an abstention mm -hmm. from Kent, abstention from Freeman, uh, Tulani. Is a yay? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Great. Thanks, everyone. Mm -hmm. cool. um, shall we loop back? To, are we are we done on public art for now? I don't I would, have. I would just. I would <laughs> like to say one thing that I, just an observation about public art, um, and um, I'm. Uh, I've noticed in riding around town on my on my bike, uh, it seems that there's a lot more graffiti than I had noticed recently, uh, in the past rather, you know, in the, within the last, you know, few years. And one of the things that strikes me is that none of the graffiti that I've seen is on things that have uh, murals or artwork. Um, and I think that's kind of an interesting thing to be aware mm. of. I, I think that's, you know, I'm not exactly sure what the significance of it is, but mm. it says something to me about, I don't know what, well, I need it's help. It's, well, maybe that people appreciate art or something like that, that there's, there's a sense of, I, I'd like to say respect or or that that it's just, you know, other than the the, the, the box or the uh, electrical thing with um, uptown by the Florence Savings Bank early on, but. Great, well, Brian, thanks. Are you still, are you still there? Hey, uh, quick, quick question to follow up. Um, in our reply to A to Z, I know that you just uh, emailed them to let them know that they need to do the other application about the bare brick. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, after we hear back from them and assuming that they, uh, they can move forward, um, can, can we draft a reply around the ideas of what, what I kind of mentioned before in terms of we hope, you know, as, as we are trying to develop more inclusion um, as a committee, um, as a council, we hope that those things were taken into account or will be taken into account in the future uh, for um, you know, anything that A to Z does in public. Can you send me an email with, with the exact word or share a Google doc? yeah to, to to sum summarize the council or if it's the minutes mm -hmm. so i can share that with them or do you mm -hmm. want to share that with them as a council member as well on the public art subcommittee mm -hmm. sure. any of those things yeah i just don't want to i don't want to summarize council members feelings uh and mm -hmm. and do it in the wrong way so i just want to make sure if we're if I'm, re I'm, I'm i'm representing the council with decisions such as this that i want to make sure that the, the it's all we have input from everybody are if mm -hmm. you're going to be the public art subcommittee member I want you and I to work on it before I send it yeah totally okay just wanted to okay. make sure that yeah they, yeah I can definitely do that I'm that. gonna make I'm gonna make sure they get through planning mm -hmm. with that and then as soon as they reply uh you and I can work on a response to Andre mm -hmm. with using the language um that we've talked about in this meeting I think it would also be really useful to include, so we hope you do this, but also um, we can help you do this. If you don't know, if this feels weird, like we can help you do this, or here's something that is important to us in the future, we'd love to help you do this if it's not already part of your process. So that it doesn't feel like, I don't wanna say I feel like a reprimand, but so that it feels like we're offering support um, to something that maybe they hadn't considered before. Yeah, we want to be calling them in, not calling them out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, I don't know if you have any, uh, anybody has any um, former experience with Andre and Deb, I think they'll be more than happy to, and be very open, but definitely using calling in language would be much easier. Yeah. And uh, obviously less adversarial mm -hmm. at this point. And I think they'd be open to it, so. Uh, they did not know Tulani, um, but Andre uh, reached out to me anyways, and and then we started this process. And he reached out to me on Monday. That's why it's been so uh, just so quick. 
Um, so no, the only fine. thing, yeah, the only thing that I didn't notice from the first mock-up he sent us was that the, the, the wall in question, which is out of our peer purview because of historic purposes, it's a, they're older buildings in the central business district, it's bare brick. And I was been, I've been told by the planning and sustainability department that anything that is bare brick that's within the central business district has to be put up for to the central business district architect, architectural subcommittee as well. So uh -huh. I've informed Andre and Dev that's the case. And then I think if everybody's comfortable, Jesse and I will draft an email um, uh, approving um, the art, but with language that is a call-in for inclusionary um, com committee-driven, I mean, community-driven um, design going forward if they wanna do any more work. If, that, if, that, if I'm understanding the, mm -hmm. the summarization of the meeting, okay, good. Um, Thanks everyone. So Tulani, we had skipped the equity update until you got here. Is there anything that you or anyone from the equity committee would like to share out? Uh, I'm, I'm still, my brain is still in work mode, so I'm <laughs> still processing uh, coming in. Uh, if anybody from my, from the committee wants to talk, please, by all means, and I'll jump in. We can also go back to the previous we can go to another section and then come back to it if you'd like, whatever, whatever you'd like. No, I, that's fine. We can, okay. we can go here, but I, I'd like to open the floor to the full committee. Um, I have something, but I am uh, would like to hear if Dana or Kent would rather speak on something first. This is only partially about the equity subcommittee Go ahead, and Jesse. Addressing um, the change of name of performance, um, which I know was a big part of last month's uh, discussion. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that there was an email that there was an email that went out um, that was came to you know, there's a, a big question in our minds um, that this email, Performance 31 Unsung Heroes live tribute music fundraiser that went out this morning, mm -hmm. um, didn't have any language about the change of the name, um, didn't address why that had happened and what was, the reasoning behind it. Um, and one of the other questions was that was kind of brought up is whatever happened to that press release that was worked on last time. Um, and then a tertiary question, which I know has more to do with uh, something that was done a while ago around the artwork um, is just the fact that it is, uh, again, very white centered. Um, all the musicians, while two of them are potentially gender fluid, uh, all of them are definitely white representational. Um, so that's just, that's just something that we need to be uh, continually aware of. Um, especially around something that we are trying to um, go out to the community and be inclusive of who we are uh, asking to be participatory, not only uh, as an artist, as artists, but as um, attendees. Thank you for raising that, Jesse. I support 100% with that. And it makes it really difficult when we don't do what we say we're going to do then to reach out to new folks and go, hey, join us as we transform this into something, particularly since we do want people a little younger than myself uh, coming aboard. So I was rather shocked 
to read through the thing. And as I looked at the image myself and went, God, this is so white. And, you know, I mean, the music's not necessarily that way. So the image is from 30 years ago. And not to rethink that can be problematic because we know what happened and how we make these transitions. And so that the, the thing that I read was also on the Mass Live, the print, and it's sort of like, God, we missed an opportunity to really show how forward we're moving. And that saddens me. So, you know, I just wanna, I just, yeah, 100%. I guess the, the, the direct question um, that I would I would love to hear an answer on is, is what did happen to that um, press release um, and if it was something that I missed and it actually ran or if it was fell on deaf ears uh, to the media and um, if so there was ever any follow up. So I drafted the press release and shared yeah. it with a small mm -hmm. group. And one point of feedback was that in order to like include one particular line, and this was Freeman's feedback, so feel free to chime in Freeman, was that we should have in the entire board look at and approve um, the press release before it goes out. So I think we can use mm. this time to, to do that. I don't know if we have to, or Brian, do you have other updates on this? Or? Uh, I have updates. Um, okay. I... You drafted the press release. We had a lot of mm -hmm. comments from our, um, from Jesse, from Kent, from Freeman, and then nobody touched the document for a while. So I picked it back up today. I included the, the edits and then I shared it uh, with all the media today. Uh, and it was after that email was sent out. Um, and I didn't think of combining the press release with the marketing email to sell tickets. Uh, I can still do that. Uh, I was using uh, templates from uh, past uh, past MailChimp templates that I, I've been using as a formula with summer concert series. Uh, I didn't take the time to um, amalgamate the new press release and the sell tickets email. Um, I think from my experience, uh, that email that went out that everybody saw, I saw, I sent it this morning. I, you know, I always send the MailChimp to the board first because I have a board mm -hmm. contact list, and I always invite feedback from the board before I start sending them out to the community. Um, maybe I never informed you of that before, but the first list I send any MailChimp to, it goes directly to board members. Mm -hmm. And if there's any feedback, please reach out to me and I would definitely incorporate the feedback before I start reaching out. Um, uh, as I said before, I'm, I'm feeling like a, really fast with just our production schedule and maybe I should have taken more time to amalgamate both. Um, I was hoping that some of the feedback that uh, was received from the board members on the press release renaming Transperformance was gonna get more figured out, but I just took it upon myself to incorporate as much as I can and then I removed the Google form link and said, we're gonna go, we're gonna work on that later and um, share that with the community later on. So I think going forward from now, um, my, I'm of opinion where we can do another uh, outreach uh, email through MailChimp that uses the renaming piece as a jump off point, as well as to sell tickets. Um, but it was definitely shared with uh, all media contacts, the press release, renaming trans performance today. Had some uh, people reach out to me w walking by at summer park series because all the program books that we've been distributing have, uh, have included the new name. Mm -hmm. um, there is some remnants of posters uh, around. I tried to take everything out and I'm gonna have Peter remove all the placards that are around town that have the old name on there. Um, and then I did some editing on the Google form to make it more open-ended as uh, was commented by on council members on the um, press release. So that's, uh, those are my responses. I'm open to more uh, uh, input on this. 
Thanks, Brian, for yeah. um, mm -hmm. saying all of that. I personally, and sorry, Tulani, if I, no. I cut you off. Personally, I didn't know that um, we had the ability to make any changes to that first round of emails that went out. Um, so if there's, you know, moving forward, if there's any way to, um, I don't know, let us know what the time frame is, um, mm -hmm. and that we can, we can give feedback because I think that that, that would be helpful. Um, any email you receive from me, you can hit reply on, especially MailChimps, and you can do it. Today was a very small window because we're a week away from trans performance and I'm pushing ticket sales and information, uh, especially with, you know, parking and things like that. So, um, but when we're farther away from the execution date, I'm much more open to an editing process. But if you see anything coming from, you know, from, yeah. from the council or from me that you have uh, some feedback to provide, please feel free to, to email me and just the quicker, the better, you know, because sometimes I'm in a, in a work loop and I'm just trying to get that task done. So if I was a little quick today on getting that out to the community, I, you know, I, I'm sorry. Uh, um, I just took a quick read through of a document you said earlier um, mm -hmm. at, and I'll read through it more thoroughly. Um, I thought it on the surface, it looked, it, it's pretty, it seemed like a well-written piece to release. Um, I agree with the image about the image, Jesse. Well, the, the image was done by a person of color. Um, so I did incorporate uh, somebody on that. I did not think about, you know, I'm thinking about, Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not thinking in, in that imagery the same way as you, but I, I, I appreciate the feedback. Um, I paid an artist $500 to do it. I could have uh, provided feedback to that artist uh, the same way. And going forward, I will I will try to reach out to the, I'll re I will reach out to the equity subcommittee if anything looks questionable. Um, I, I've well, just I been, re I've been reticent to, like when I ask an artist to do something for me, I've been reticent to like, you know, be critical on, on that sense because I, I, I'm not a curator. But I, I, I really understand um, where the equity subcommittee is coming from on that uh, and what we're trying to do. So I'll, I'll be more, uh, um, I'll try to recognize that in the future and, and, uh, and get some feedback, critical feedback before we go forward with uh, yeah. imagery. Yeah, I feel like it's part of that whole learning curve that we've been on this year. And um, it's just another piece of it, um, you know, moving forward into the future. I am going to say good night to everybody um, at this point. Bye, everybody. Good night. Hi, Ellen. But yeah, I'll listen to the rest of the. Uh, I'll re listen to the recording in a couple of days. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Uh, I'm just gonna. I agree with Jesse and having like the time frame. Uh, and I, I think I've, and as much as I've had like a crazy summer, I, I, I am aware that whenever Brian, that you send out something that it normally does come to us first. Um, but yeah, I definitely think if we had an opportunity to just like, if you even put in that email, just saying like, Hey, uh, board, this is, this is the draft. If you want to make any changes, I'm giving us about a week. So that way, if anything, if you want to say something, there's a like we all have to immediately respond, and that way there's a there's a cutoff time so that we don't miss this opportunity, where the article that we saw yesterday or this morning was not necessarily aligned with where we were headed or where we were heading. You know, at least this way, I think it also uh, it also gives you an opportunity, Brian, to um, to make sure that you're meeting deadlines in the way that is in your best capacity uh, to present upcoming work. Yeah, usually in my in my world, the one week from when I'm uh, drafting marketing stuff is is is, is not going to work. But I'll I'll try to 
um, readjust my timetables and to, to, to make that work. Um, with regards to the image, the image has been out for three months. I commissioned it a while ago. Uh, if the critical feedback could have come, come in earlier, I would have been able to work with the artists. But we're a week out from the event and it'll be difficult to change now. So I don't think, um, thank you for all this. I mean, this is a learning curve for us too, because mm -hmm. I wasn't aware, like Jesse, that we could comment. I agree. And even if you said, I need feedback within 48 hours, at least give us the like, okay, jump on this or shut up, then, then we'll know, right? We don't necessarily, mm -hmm. I think Thelani, I don't mean to speak for you, but I think it was just one week as an example. But even if you said, I want to turn this around in a day, mm -hmm. somebody look at this, you know, somebody would. As yeah. for the image, I, I personally didn't know that that image was going to be part of what was going out at the same, because we, it was never really clearly said, here's the image is going to be. So, you know, sometimes you look at stuff and go, okay, that's the old poster. Didn't know that was the current thing. And so some of this is learning how you do things and how this committee, mm -hmm. how the board's done things in the yeah, past yeah. and that process of informing us so that we can be on top of what it is you want from us to do. But if we don't know how to do it, then we're going to be always at loggerheads, right? I'm, I'm having the same, this is all new to me. Um, we're, we're trying to put our money where our mouth is with the inclusionary work. Um, so I'm, you know, I, what I'm used to is having more free reign and, and not checking in. But I think because the work we're doing now, it's important for me to have a different perspective and, and to check in. Um, so I think that will be helpful going forward. And then as, you know, as we go forward and maybe like we do a lot of a more of this work that we're, we're, we're embarking on now, I can, the training wheels can come off and I'll feel more confident to, to be making decisions that are with, with imagery and things mm -hmm. like that. So I'll just slow down and, and, uh, and try to include, uh, things that I, you know, I, that I'm, you know, these are things that I don't, I don't think about. And, and, uh, you know, I, I'm trying, uh, my perspective, how I, I, I pro, I'm approaching um, graphic design now is I'm trying to look for BIPOC artists to, to mm -hmm. design our stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, I'm working on that right now. So, you know, when the first night, I'm going to get a first night draft of an image soon from uh, another uh, designer, I'm going to, I'm going to share that with the equity committee to see if, uh, if there's any input that cool. will be questionable. Do you know the folks at the hub in Springfield? Some BIPOC yeah, I do. group, yeah. They're, I don't know. Oh, I, I have their list. I have their list. Yeah, because they're fab, and they've got a ton of young artists who are hungry and quite good. And they, they, a lot of them. Some of them don't do great work. A lot of them do really good work. We got so a they, call they, going they, they out soon. Asset. So uh, we have a call going out soon to um, design uh, graphic design um, vinyl that we're going to wrap these new newspaper boxes in in town. Um, so I'll make sure that we get that call to that hub. And if you can help me with that, I'll share that. I'll be like, Hey, yeah, Ken, send, this is, right, our, this send is it the to call. me and say, set, I need this by hub. blah, blah, blah. Right. Yeah. 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 Can we share this call with the hub or whatever? And I'll, I'll be very, uh, specific. Okay. Um, I just, uh, if I was at my old job and I was trying to solve this, like one of the things that I used to do would be like, look at the schedule and then like at the regular events that happen during the course of the year and build back out to meet these requirements that people are talking about. And so that the appropriate loop-ins are done, but also knowing very well the behind the scenes part that Brian is constantly dealing with and the frenziness of things that happen there. I understand we're going from you know what was done last year and how I recognize this mistake happening all the time. So my solve for this situation on my old job was always to look at the schedule and work back to allow the proper things, uh, proper slots for the timing and the input and consideration. So for example, take the uh, first night as an example, we work back to when, you know, through the actual logistics pr uh, production, but then we go back further for like when we'll go out for our calls for input or for artists, we make sure that like we're going out to the audience of artists that we want to go out to. And like, we just work back to all that input is available. Main messaging points are built into that so that you know, Brian can, you know, use those main messaging points to shoot out things as he needs to shoot them out because that's already been 
compiled, like the main points that we need to push out, you know, and the, with the performance one, a main point would have been, hey, like, let's point out and include that we are made, the, we made these changes X, Y, and Z. So like, I am perfectly happy to look at the ca coming calendar and kind of like do what I used to do and schedule out to meet all these requirements that people are talking about. So th this kind of brings, thank you, Eamon, this kind of brings me to a point, we have an online communications committee, and I wonder if we can actually just rebrand that as a marketing and communications committee. I was and, gonna ask about that, <laughs> yeah. And have that be a place where like the timeline is considered, all of the, the, the timelines that we are gonna require for approval and feedback are included. Like, I think the issue with the press release is that like, I drafted it, but I wasn't necessarily project managing feedback on it, right? So it seems like if, if that's the kind of thing where the board is going to want to be involved in writing press releases or giving feedback, but that used to be something that Brian did, wrote the press release, sent it out. And like, maybe you would send it to, would send it to the board and say, hey, if you have feedback, please weigh in. And then 24 hours later, it would go out. Right. Yeah. Um, so if we're actually like changing these processes, it seems like a subcommittee would be useful. And that's a place where like those timelines can happen. It's also a place where like once a month, anything that's any graphic design or imagery that we're using to promote events or projects or things that we're doing, um, we can look at it once a month or once a quarter, whatever makes sense um, when it comes to evaluating those things as a group. And then that smaller group, and I'm, I definitely don't have to be on it, but that that smaller group of communications and marketing can raise flags and also bring things back to the larger board if they want to get feedback from the larger board but it'll it'll give someone the ability to project manage that process i think that's what happened with the press release is that there was no one person who was like ushering it through mm -hmm. um a process yep that yeah that's that all sounds fine i what i think what i was saying was that Danielle, I remember you wrote the press release over three weeks ago, right? And the problem for me is that it sat. Instead of just giving us a timeline and saying, oh, give, here's the thing, the board gets to look at it first, 24, 48 hours a week, whatever, whatever time is appropriate for Brian to go ahead and do those extra steps, just give us that. You know, because we know that things are gonna be written on the fly. We know that X, Y, and Z, like that's just what it is. The work is never going to stop, but at least this, don't mind but just say like hey this is it's been written somebody took the time to do it that you as the board have the have the right to take a look at it first this is this is the most amount of time i can give us before i've got to exit move it forward propel it whatever because i i'm not up for micromanaging and that's what it sounds like i think that is Absolutely, headed yes, towards. Yes. you know what i mean i'm not up for micromanaging i just want to make sure that whatever something that what's written that Danielle, you took the time to write that it gets the appropriate amount of time for the board to take a look at or 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 not, you know? And just say like, hey, if you got something, say it now or forever hold your peace. I don't want it to sit. Yep. And I think that goes a, a fair way to uh, I think micromanage. I was searching for a term, but I think micromanaging is a great phrase for it because it, there's a lot of stuff that Brian and his very small little staff have to do, and having to wait so much or having us providing too much input or over inputting could be a big, huge hindrance on efficiency. So I think I think that's a great point. I do. Um, I, I think all of this is great. Um, I do want to throw in um, the recognition of um, white supremacy in the process um, and that rushing is in because because we are all um, part of the structure that is our daily lives and in late capitalism we are all part of white supremacy and rushing things through um, and micromanaging and waiting too long. These are all things that are problematic in the same ways that um, not looking at something analytically before uh, it gets approved. Um, 
is. Um, I guess I, I guess I'm just kind of underlining it so that so that this is what my thought process is while listening to this conversation. Um, and additionally, um, and Brian, not to call you out at all, like this isn't this isn't a criticism. I think this is just another observation that I'm having um, in terms of hiring BIPOC artists. That's fantastic. Like great first step, but because the artists and us all are active in the white supremacy structure, it doesn't matter if the artist is BIPOC, if the end result is whitewashed. Um, and so it's just about being conscious of the decisions every step of the way in order to identify, oh, I have four musicians here who are all white representational. Um, should we change that? Um, so just, just, I don't know, I guess this is just my, my thoughts um, of what's, of what's, of what we're talking about. And I, I hope that it's helpful in some aspect. I, yes, to all that, I just would like to add, which is one of the reasons why I am pushing for the equity subcommittee to take more time because a large part of this is our process. And if we say we're doing something to really begin to know how we do it, what lensing processes we're using to do this, and that this lensing process habitually changes because communities continue to grow and grow and et, et cetera. So, I mean, this all comes into mind with the way that things were done in the past. You didn't have folks of color on the board. So things were different. You know, the old way of looking at things has gone down the drain. And so now we're looking at trying to utilize what we have that's, that's good and rebuild something that's not. And so that's why I think the process a lot of this stuff is looking at stuff, being able to say, here's why we fund, here's why we look at art, here's the various lensing processes that we use so that then we can look at this and go, okay, this fills in here, or wow, this was missing here, you know, or oh, you know, here's like five men talking about a woman's piece of art here, you know, what's wrong with this picture, you know, even so, and as we look at what public art is being able to have our say of, of how we like to see it evolve. Not that we're trying to curate everybody, but if we can offer the example of here's what we're doing to uplift our entire community. And at that same time, we're bringing in new blood, new people that that community continues to strengthen and grow, which is what we need. That's why we also we need new board members, right? We had so many missing seats. If we can really show people that we're in the 21st century, they might jump in. We, we might get some 25 year olds that are on fire and wanna work. That would be really fabulous from across the spectrum. So anyway, I just, I, I just think it's a muddy time and it's a ragged time. And I'm grateful in some ways to be in ragged time because it means we, we're gonna to have to make changes and we're here to do that, it appears. So I'm, you know, good on us. All right, thank, thank you everyone for, for sharing. Um, can, and anything else before we move on to online communications? All right, anything on online communications from Brian or Eamon? Um, I made a note to, well, I had started making it up before you start talking about the name change. I think that's a really good idea. So I've made a note to uh, set up a meeting with you and Brian to talk about that, but also to wrap up where we are with the, um, the new logo and wordmark and get those versions together so that we can look at them together instead of over email and then bring them to the uh, larger committee. I don't have any updates. Great. Um, anything on Poet Laureate? 
we saw the announcement went out that was so wonderful thank you everyone on that committee for for making the youth poet laureate happen any any updates are we good I have a quick question. Um, the Poet Laureate, not the Youth Poet Laureate, is coming to the end of her term, right? Do we, when, when is that happening? When are we gonna start making the search for- I think a it, Well, if I remember, I think it's in April, right, Brian, before April. So we Karen knows, I just have to kind of look up. I think that's what she that. said, if I remember right. Yeah, yeah. So maybe when, what's one thing we can talk about the timelines and work backwards and figure out. Also, it would be really great to do and like sort of like, for lack of a better term, an exit interview with her because she's so clear headed and it would be really interesting to find out what worked for her, what could have worked better, how she could have been better utilized all this kind of questions that she may be really helpful in. So when we go into searching for someone new, we have that packet of information from the person who actually did the job, you know? She was such a pleasure and she's so organized. It would be, I think it would be a really, you know, and if someone wants, I'll be happy to work with, I don't know, with you, Kathy, you, you know, to, 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 to do that, to try to put that information together. I think that'd be good. It's almost like I know that um, Esther, you know, for the public art, for the biennial, Esther did a big book and, and Ellen was reminding me and that really helped guide the process. So having something like that, I agree with you, Kent. I'll be willing to work with, with trying to figure out what works best and having a, a guide for us because, you know, it's like tonight I'm thinking she was mentioning things and I'm like, oh my God, you know, unless I have things written down right there, I can't remember at the time. So. So you and me, Kathy, okay? All right. Awesome. Um, I just I just shared the, the um, in the chat, the Poet Laureate procedure that Jenny Seckler, who used to be our literature, um, you know, uh, council member for a couple, five, six years, she drafted that, which is similar to the, um, document that Esther created for okay. the biennial so we can use that as a um yeah. as a pathway so maybe and, Kent you uh, and I you're right that's good Brian maybe what we could do is we could look at that and share it with with Karen and I'll and share it with you too directly right now um, okay Kent and it's Kathy I just downloaded and, the link oh I great mean, uh, the, the document um, I, I just right. went and downloaded it. And so I've been I cutting haven't. and pasting all the chats with the links, so. <laughs> okay, mm. yeah. And if I find anything else in my uh, in, uh, mm. in my Google Docs, I'll share. Yeah. Um, so usually uh, with regards to Ken's great idea, we, um, we do kind of list all the activities, mm -hmm. which I think Karen has been extra active which is fantastic and she mm, served an mm. extra term as well yeah. um from looking at the poet laureate procedure document for choosing i think we're a little behind a couple months behind mm -hmm. uh because it says we're supposed to start in may or june so um you know that's okay everything we is, is fluid and we can we can do our best yeah uh, and 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 make sure you know use karen has been uh, a stalwart supporter mm -hmm. so if she, yeah. she wants to be involved in helping i think she'll be more than happy mm -hmm. to help um she really championed the youth poet laureate that and, was um, i think that took mm -hmm. up a lot of our time and i and mm -hmm. i you know maybe i'll ask her to see if if we can you know if we have consensus of maybe asking her to join the ink board because mm -hmm. ink boards can live outside of um the the community yeah. i just think she she's 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 done so That's much and, yeah. and and she's been really helpful and it's good um, to have somebody like that from that particular um, genre. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so Karen and we sent the press release out. Uh, we I sent the payment to Rio. 
Um, an update on that. I know I'm, I don't want to waste everybody's time. We know it's getting close to nine, but uh, the Academy of Music reached out to me about um, having Rio at a really big poetry event they're having there. Um, I'm getting other requests. I feel like I should be Rio's agent um, and get 10% at this point because they are very popular. Mm -hmm. um, so I think um, congratulations to um, this council for for really putting forward this initiative and you know big congratulations to to the the, the subcommittee the biennial subcommittee and the poetry subcommittee for bringing this forward because it's it's been a lot of like great uh support from the community and a lot of interest so i'm looking forward to this year and this uh, new initiative that the council is champion so it was a lot of work thank you so much um because sometimes it's it's hard to to add some more to the pile, but this was totally totally worth it. Karen, it, it's always good, you know, because we're doing so much stuff to have somebody. I mean, Karen was incredible. She really yeah. made it. Yeah, she did. She really did. I mean, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. Mm -hmm. Freeman and Tulani, do you have a school committee update this evening? Or I know Freeman does. I am, I have literally been out to lunch for the past eight weeks. Like I literally work 14 hours a day right now. So I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna let Freeman go. Um, so I'm not going to say it a lot, but I, but there is, an, there are a number of things I would like to say, uh, at some subsequent meeting. Um, I can say that uh, Talani and Lori and I haven't spoken, uh, you know, haven't had a meeting in the last month, um, just for a number of different reasons. Um, but we have had exchanges and we've had contact with the schools. And I think generally speaking, the, the response is positive, but ambiguous. Um, but I will say two things. Uh, one, I had a really good conversation with um, both with Des Caldwell, which I've mentioned before, but now with Jenny Manfredi, who's the one of his assistant principals, and and Des has passed off to her the task of working um, on uh, collaborating with us in the Arts Council. One of the things that Des had asked for was to get support for the family gatherings that they have monthly at the school, usually around a particular theme. And uh, I need to check back with her because they hadn't quite figured out what those themes are gonna be each month. But they asked for the possibility of having some artistic presentation at that time. And I thought, uh, especially since Rio is a graduate of JFK and they were very excited to see that, I have to say. Um, uh, I thought maybe Rio with Karen might be interested in, in doing a reading. Um, but I need to check more with, with, uh, with them about that particular issue. And the other, uh, so, so that's one piece and I'll get into more. I'll send you a contract. Before. Okay. I'll send you a contract. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I have to pay you in advance or, um, and also, uh, with regard to leads, um, I've been working with, uh, this Mill River group. And one of the teachers who's retired from Leeds is now gonna be doing a project that's somewhat related to something that the Arts Council could get involved in. And that has to do with both drawing and photography. And I hope to have more to say about that as well as a mural project that they would like to do uh, on the school at Leeds. Um, so I think there's, I think it's a little slow going. Um, and I think that we as a group have to just be a little more clear about what it is we try, want to accomplish. And we're working on that um, uh, over the next course, you know, the next year. Uh, um, so I'll, I'll, you know, next time I'll have more to say about this, but that's a quick update. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Kathy, any updates on volunteers that you want to share? 
We'll take your time. Sorry. Yeah. Um, no, only that plea we'll be working on. Um, obviously our next big thing will be first night, but you know, as soon as I, I get us a schedule for helping with the biennial, we'd look and most of those people will be from from within the council. And then the first night, I mean, Brian, we have a number of volunteers at performance, and a lot of those are our Brian has a list and, and a number of people responded because of their, their, they are typically our first night volunteers, so. Great, thanks. We seem to have good coverage for performance. Yeah, um, yeah. So, well. and, uh, so we'll, we'll be good. Uh, we mm -hmm. have staff as well and uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you wanna come, let us know. Yeah. Wonderful. All right, so. Um, can I make a motion to approve the minutes from last month's meeting? I know we I we missed Dana, but I think we still have a quorum, right? Or five or six? Mm. Is that a six. quorum? Mm. We're just missing um Lori and Dana. So yeah. All right. Six is a quorum. Hmm. Okay. Second. All in favor? Um, I before we okay. before we vote, I just wanted to um, ask Tulani if there was anything that was missing from the minutes because the conversation last time was um, very long, and I know that you had a couple of things that you brought up surrounding um, the. Um, change of the name to performance um, that I don't know was uh, uh, reflected in the minutes. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that you were okay with the minutes as they stood. Uh, thank you, Jesse. I have not had an opportunity to take a look at them. If we can table this for like two minutes and I'll take a look at them now just to confirm that. And I will uh, give, the, give the A or nay. Is that okay? We can also we can also hold them for next meeting if this mm -hmm. isn't a good time to look at the minutes and mm -hmm. we can hold them for, right. We can carry them to the next meeting. Okay. If we can carry them, that would be good because right. I mean you look fried, Jelani. Not to put that on you, but you know no, I, I I am I am fried. Let's see I how don't. much more she can deal with. <laughs> Look at the minutes. No, let's so well, let's we take well, it, charter. It, let's talk about you know, <laughs> part of that is as I'm typing and I, I don't remember there was an actual recording. And yeah. for those of you who you know when when in the minutes, and it's very I mean, not that I'm making excuses for myself, but they're they're really detailed and so dense and we skip from topic to topic. So I mean, I must take at least three hours when I do the minutes because I go back, listen again, and then go back, listen again, and then go back. And there's, you know, so just to, you know, it, it is. Kathy, you're it's, a saint for doing yeah. this. Right. Yeah. By, yeah. by no stress. Yeah. Am I, I mean, you know, oh, no, I no. mean, no, take a, take a bloody bow. I yeah. wouldn't want your job. <laughs> well, but, you know, it just, it does so take. Let's, you know, let's table the minutes okay. until. Yeah. Okay. So let's Thank table you. the minutes until next month. And then in the meantime, if any folks have edits, you can just email them to Kathy ahead yeah. of that next Thank meeting. You. Thank you. Um, maybe like uh, our next meeting is gonna be September. Um, sorry, I'm trying to give a deadline. Um, September 13th, no, September 14th. So if you could send your edits to Kathy by uh, maybe, Friday the 10th or Thursday the 9th. Does that work for you, Kathy? And then I'll give a, a few days to compile them ahead of our meeting and then gives Brian time to send them out to all of us to review. So let's aim for Thursday the 9th. Okay. Um, feedback on the minutes to Kathy. All right. Um, I'm going to make a motion to close the meeting. Second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're closed and I'll make a motion to open the ink meeting for event updates. Second. Summer Park series is excellent. Mm. <laughs> Congratulations, Brian. It's been amazing. Mm. 
And thanks yeah. for sending the picture, the photos. They're they're just mm -hmm. great. And I, I am so sorry that I've only been able to be at one. I love the photos from the last two events, and I so much wanted to be there. It's the mm -hmm. only thing that makes me wish I hadn't been away in these other beautiful places. <laughs> Salsa was uh, exceptional. Oh, and, Salsa uh, was a lot of fun. That was a lot. <laughs> So, um, yeah, it's been good. So I just share the pictures. Everybody can get an idea of how mm -hmm. the events have been going. They've, they've been uh, well attended. And, um, Did you dance, Eamon? Uh, yes. Like a terrible, terrible first time salsa person. Yes. <laughs> well, thanks for coming and, and being vulnerable doing that. That's great. Mm. And I actually saw Brian in person. So he still exists. I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so that's you know that and then we have performance next tuesday uh we're just lining everything with that up uh we, we kind of discussed uh the marketing piece uh i think that will be a talking point uh at least the press release for the next couple of days and uh i kind of forgot about that too because i was waiting for feedback and then i heard uh like like uh, everybody else here, I heard some kind of marketing piece, and I was like, I guess nobody knows that uh, has gotten the, that, and I picked it back up. But uh, performance has great uh, pre-sale tickets going on on uh, online, um, and uh, it's the first year we're gonna have a roof over it, and a fancy sound system, and uh, nice lights because uh, GSP shows are is doing too big uh, shows before and after, and they're being nice and leaving us all of their really fancy equipment. So it'll be really uh, a, a spectacular show. So I'm looking forward to seeing some of uh, some of the people out there. And that's about it right now. And then I made that, I started, I made the first ask for first night for sponsorship as well as I've been applying to um, corporate grants through their online portals. Um, so that's the kind of the update with First Night. And then we've been getting venue contracts, but you know, as it's going now, we'll hopefully, uh, we'll be able to do something for First Night, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes with um, COVID. That's about it. Any, any, any ideas, questions, comments, input? All right, motion to photo. close the ink meeting. Second. All right, Sorry. ink meeting is closed. Awesome. Um, well, thanks everyone. Looking forward to seeing some of you at performance mm. and hope everyone has a really good evening. Good night. Well. Good night. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everything. Be well. Bye. Bye bye.